Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what I'm going to be going over is creating and using our own custom mouse cursor as you can see on screen here. So you'll notice I've just got my mouse cursor shown on screen at all times just for the purpose of this tutorial but we've gone from the default cursor to this new custom one which we've got and obviously you can set this up to be your own custom one it doesn't have to be this mannequin one that I've created but I will leave a link in the description down below for you to use this one that I've made as well if that's what you wanted to do. Again this is what I'm going to be going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So this is actually very very simple and quick to do. The first thing we want to do is we obviously want to import our texture for our custom mouse cursor. So the one I've got I just made in Photoshop it's 50 by 50 pixels wide doesn't have to be that size but that is a good size for it to be and that's obviously the one which you saw at the beginning of the video. And obviously I've got a transparent background on it as well which is also very important so it will need to be a PNG too. So once you've imported that, what we can do is not create a material, as some people might believe, is we need to actually create a widget. So we're going to right click, go to user interface, create a widget blueprint, creating a user widget, and name this whatever you like. So I'm going to name it Mannequin Arm Cursor Widget. It's a long name, but it makes no sense for me. So it's a widget for my cursor, and that cursor is the mannequin arm. So what you could also do maybe is CW, for cursor widget, then mannequin arm. That's actually probably a better name of convention. So CW, then mannequin arm. Obviously, name it whatever you like. And we're going to open that up straight away. In here, we want to open the panel tab and add a canvas panel. Then, on top of that, we want to add in an image. This image here is obviously going to be our custom mouse cursor image, which we just imported. So I need mine mannequin arm, like so, I believe mannequin underscore arm, there we are. And the image size again is 50 by 50, so I need to make sure I change that up here as well to 50 by 50. Then up in the top right of the viewport in here, we're gonna change it from fill screen to desired on screen. As you can see, that's now just changed kind of the canvas panel size to be just the image of what we want. And I'm gonna set my anchor to be in the middle as well, so it's gonna stay where it should do. And that's all we need to do in here. It's very simple, we're just creating a widget with our image inside of it. So we'll compile and save that. And the reason why we're creating this in a widget is that's just how this is going to be put on screen. So we're not putting an image on screen, we're putting a widget on screen. Now that widget obviously contains an image, but it's not just an image, it's an image in a widget. So I hope that makes sense. We can now close that, go to edit, project settings, and then we want to go under engine, scroll down to the bottom until we find user interface and go on there. And then in here, what we want to do is go to software cursors and add a software cursor there. Where we've got none, we want to press that drop down menu and change this to be whatever cursor we want. So these here are all the different types of cursors we have. I'm just going to be using the default the option like so. Then under the second none, we want to open that and select our widget which we just created. So for me, that is CW mannequin arm for again, cursor widget mannequin arm. And we can close that and that's all we need to do. That is now the code fully done. So I'm going to open up my character blueprint just to show you again on Event Begin Play I'm just showing the mouse cursor so if you wanted to do that as well just to test it you can do or go in your main menu or pause menu whatever it is. If we hit play you can see we've now got this custom mouse cursor perfectly on screen like so. So we've got the picture and image which we just set up. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. Again, it's a nice quick and simple one of us basically just creating our own custom mouse cursor and using it in game and on screen as you can see here. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.